Hello everyone, I'm Shamant Gowda, CSAT faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome once again to the CSAT series question of the day 7. Today's question I picked from blood relationship. To be specific, this is called coded relationships in which the codes will be given like A plus B means A is father of B. A plus B means A is father of B. Okay. So, how is B related to A in this case? If A is father of B, B can be either son or daughter because we do not know the gender of the B in this statement. Similarly, A minus B means A is mother of B. A is mother of B means B has to be either son or daughter because we do not know the gender here. Similarly, A into B, A is son of B, A is the son here. Okay, B can be either mother or father here. Similarly, A percentage symbol B means A is daughter of B, A is equal to B means A is brother of B, A hashtag B means A is sister of B, A at the rate B means A is husband of B, A dollar B is A is wife of B. How to solve this question now? Before going to solve this question, as usual, okay, I will go to the background. I will show you two ways to solve this question. One of the generic ways is to form the family tree here. Okay? To form the family tree, you need arrows here. Okay? And some of the representation of the arrows are, if it is same generation, same generation, then use an horizontal arrow with one sided head. Okay, see one head and horizontal it has to be. Then it means same generation. Next to generation up or down. Okay, so you can use the vertical arrow like this or else like this you can use. And one is for the couples. Couples means this is not boyfriend and girlfriend. This is husband and wife. Use the horizontal arrow and double sided it is okay double sided headache if a plus b where plus is used for male and minus used for female just for representing a plus b means they are of same generation look here now a plus b means a is brother of b if A is brother of B, then they are of same generation, right? So, same generation is represented using one sided arrow. Okay. This means A is brother of B. If A is brother of B, how is B related to A? We do not know the gender of B here. So, do not assume things. So, B can be either brother or sister. We do not know the gender of B. Hence, B can be either brother or sister here. Okay. Similarly, here, if I write like this. This is one generation up or down. See, look here now. This is the generation up. Okay, this is the generation down. This means A is the parent and B is the child here. So, this is plus means what? A is father of B. If A is father of B, then how is B related to A? In this case, we do not know the gender of B. So, we can say either son or else it can be daughter also in this case. So, similarly, if I write like this, okay, we know the gender of both now. This means, see, any sided arrow it can be, but it has to be a vertical, okay. You put in this way or else in this way, one and the same. A is, okay, this means A is mother of B and how is B related to A? B is daughter of a because it is minus right we know the gender of both here. Similarly now when it comes to the couples if I write like this A plus B means okay by now you are familiar with this pattern right A is husband of B. A is husband of B. See in this one in this code if A is husband of B without knowing the gender also by default we can say B is wife of a. 
okay b is wife of a even though we don't know the gender they are couples we know okay this is representing using double sided arrow and the horizontal one okay so now using this technique we'll present the question and we'll try to solve that question now using the same technique now let's try to solve this question now okay these are the codes here using these codes you have to find out how is p related to r okay how is p related to r okay look here now we'll try to put this in the form of tree now okay see percentage means look here p percentage t percentage means p is daughter of b okay see it can be either p q r s anything okay percentage it matters for percentage means daughter here so this means p is daughter of t p is minus daughter of t see p is daughter means see always try to start the tree from the middle here okay middle of the page here whatever the writing space middle of that space here now if you write here the tree can develop here if you write in this corner tree can develop anywhere hence start from the middle here see look here now p is daughter of t so p is the lower generation and t is the upper generation okay so p is daughter here that's what i have written here okay representing this p percentage t p is daughter of t in this form tree form now t plus s means plus means father plus is father right so t is the father of s here okay t is the father we got to know the gender of t t is the father father of s means t is father of s one generation down so s comes here okay straight way obliquely it's one and the same that's the generation down representing okay now so can we say see t is the common father for p as well as s means these two has to be siblings right okay these two has to be siblings so can i say p is the sister of s now but in this case as of now we don't know the gender of s okay come back here now s plus again s plus means what s is father of right plus means father again see this plus means father s is father of r see s is the father of r here now now we have completed the tree here now so we got to know the gender of p p is the mother hence minus t is the father plus s is also father here hence plus now time to answer to the question how is p related to r how is p related to r here see p is look here from r's perspective r's father is s and father's sister okay father's sister is what aunt and to be specific paternal aunt isn't it okay father's sister is paternal aunt if the question is if you ask in the reverse order how is r related to p if the question was how is r related to p in this case r is see brothers son or daughter because we don't know the gender of r here hence it can be brothers daughter or son daughter brothers daughter or son is what nephew or it can be niece but in this case we are not sure here because we don't know the gender of r okay now we'll take one more example in this question the codes are same here okay now the question is this one i'll show you one more method of solving the question rather than going for tree see tree we solved in the previous question this one without tree also we can solve how start from the reverse order here okay start from the reverse order here r is equal to means what here look here is equal to is brother here isn't it see is equal to is brother that means s is brother of r the relation is brother here i'm just writing is equal to is brother okay plus means brother s is brother of r okay now into here into is what son isn't it into is son see brothers into means brothers into into is son so brothers son is nephew know the name of the relation nephew here isn't it now we got nephew here okay brothers son is nephew now nephews minus minus is what mother right okay minus is mother here so nephews mother 
nephew's mother is nothing but what brother's wife right nephew's mother is brother's wife so your brother's wife will become what from your perspective that is sister in law isn't it nephew's mother is nothing but sister in law in this case do you have sister in law yes understood i'll explain one second look here now okay see is equal to means brother we got the relationship brother yes is the brother into means brothers into that is brothers into his son brothers son is nephew we got nephew here okay who is the nephew t is the nephew here so nephew's mother okay nephew's mother that is p p is the mother right so nephew's mother will be sister in law nephew's mother is nothing but what this your brother brothers that is wife isn't it brothers wife okay so brothers wife becomes sister in law or else nephew's mother is also sister in law okay this is also one of the way to solve the questions so now today we learned two techniques of solving the question okay guys look here this was yesterday's bouncer question the question is if rakesh was born on 29th february 1896 okay specifically then he will celebrate his birthday after how many years okay look here now see this question depends on leap year okay leap year a year to be a leap year it must satisfy two condition one is if a number is divisible by 4 then the year is a leap year okay if the number is divisible by 4 then the year is leap year second condition if the number is multiple of 100 multiple of 100 it has to get divided by it has to get divided by 400 also 400 also okay for example look here now 2000 was that a leap year yeah definitely yes because the number is divisible by 4 2000 is divisible by 4 yes divisible by 4 is this number divisible by 400 also because this is a multiple of 100 multiple of 100 means what we know the multiples now 100 200 300 400 etc these are multiples of 100 so 2000 is also multiple of 100 whenever it is a multiple of 100 any year which is a multiple of 100 or else we call it as centenary year 2000 is a multiple of 100 then you have to check whether this number is divisible by 400 is this number divisible by 400 yes then this is a leap year then this is a leap year okay next to 1900 is it a leap year 1900 is it a leap year see 1900 is it divisible by 4 yeah definitely divisible by 4 because 100 gets divided by 4 200 gets divided by 4 300 400 anything which is a multiple of 100 is always divisible by 4 but it's divisible by 4 and this is a multiple of 100 and you have to check for what divisible by 400 when you try to divide by 4 this is not divisible by 400 here now since this is not divisible by 400 this is not a leap year this is a normal year here means you will be having only 365 days not 366 days understood okay know this rule to be a leap year the number has to get divided by 4 and if the year is a multiple of 100 then the year has to get divided by 400 also in the upcoming sessions when i take the calendar thoroughly i'll explain why and how this happens okay now we'll stick on to this question now so 1900 was not a leap year okay and see the rakesh when born in 1896 in 1896 see 1896 check this number is divisible by 4 whether okay 4 see the last two digits if it is divisible by 4 then the whole number is divisible by 4 right if 100 is getting divided 96 also is divisible by 4 hence this year is a leap year this year is a leap year okay when there is a leap year you will be having one extra day which falls on 29th february isn't it which falls on 29th february you will be having one extra day for 29th okay in february now next year 1897 you don't have 29th february there isn't it you don't have 29th because this is not a leap year 1897 98 is this a leap year no 99 is not a leap year isn't it i am talking about 18 
and we know that 1900 is also not a leap year. 1900 is also not a leap year means, see, after every four years, one leap year comes. And Rakesh was born on 1896. He was planning to celebrate his birthday on 1900, 29th Feb. But in 1900, there is no 29th February. Hence, he has to wait for another four years, right? Okay. Another four years means from 29th February, 1896, he has to wait till eight years. Totally, that is 1904. 29th Feb, he will celebrate his next. So, from 1896 to 1904, how many years? That is 8 years. And guys, this is your bouncer question of the day. And the topic remains same. Blood relationship, these are the quotes. Same quotes I have taken. And this is the question, which of the following means? M, maternal uncle of N. M should be maternal uncle of N. And which of these says? M is maternal uncle of N. Okay, one of these is the answer here. Try to find the answer and put it in your comment section. And guys, as I have told you in the last video also, pretty soon, that is on 26 March, we will be launching a course which runs for one month, that is 32, 35 days. And this is the high time you have to start your CSAT practice. So at this point, rather than searching for a new sources or any abstract sources, okay, make use of this uh, course. This will be very helpful for those who struggle a lot in the arithmetic or the logical reasoning part. And guys, anyway, you have to uh, daily work on CSAT for two, two and a half hours. Rather than that, attending the class will make sure everything will be covered with a lot of time management techniques without the formula. And also, this will be really helpful for those who are from non-maths and non-science background students. Okay. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.